How's it going, people? Simon Slapper here. And yeah, I know it's not while Gothic sleeps, but apparently I need 270 quest points and I've only got 268, so. Plus, this quest has been requested by quite a few people. It's uh, one piercing note. Nice, easy quest. Really quick and actually gives me two quest points, so. Win win. So that's what we'll be doing. There's actually no requirements at all for this quest. You don't need to have completed anything before, and you don't even fight anything. In fact, item requirements is a cabbage, but you can actually get the cabbage while you're there, so... Whichever. To start this, go from al Bank and head completely east, towards Desert Strike Rooms to jump over the stile. And once you're in the little Desert Strike Room area, head towards the northeastern side-ish. And you'll see the entrance to the abbot from here. Quickly go through this bloke's options and carry on through. And you'll see Sister Katharina here. Talk to her to actually start the quest. So once you're inside, head to the north, and it's the middle room you will be wanting to talk to Abbas Benita. And basically she'll ask you to help with the murder investigation. Agree, and she'll give you a key and a book. So once you've got these, head to the eastern, well, southeastern corner and head up the stairs and we'll be investigating one of the rooms here it's the first room furthest west so go in here, check the bed and you get some cloth and while you're here, check the window as well Once you've done that, head back downstairs and in the southwestern corner you'll see the dead body which we now need to investigate in this room here. So, once you've done that, head towards the northern side again, and in the room next to Abbas Benita, you want to be talking to her, Sister Elena, and go through every single option, as you need the clues from everything they say. Just make sure you do that. Once you've talked to her and you've gone through all the options, head upstairs to the east into the actual monastery and talk to Sister Cecilia go through every single option again and make sure you go through uh, the stuff about the demon once you've gone through every single option with Cecilia on the opposite side of the room you've got Sister Catherine exactly the same thing again, go through every single option Now, once you've done that, we now need to talk to the old bird upstairs. So, we'll head up to the northeastern corner and head upstairs and go upstairs again. And you can now talk to feet. So, do that. She'll mistake you for someone else, say no, you're an adventurer. 
and then she'll ask you for a favour. In the same room you can operate a clock mechanism. It's a very simple puzzle. You pretty much just have to turn both the hands so it's 12 o'clock. Simple as that. Once you do that, she'll pop out. And it'll be Sister Deborah. Go through every single option with Sister Deborah. And that'll get all the clues for her. Once you've done that, head back downstairs. And back downstairs again. We'll now be going to Valerio. Just outside. Actually, before that, in this northwestern room, if you open the door and check the first bed right next to you, as we're on our way there, you'll get a cloth. Now go outside and talk to Valerio. And I question the shit out of him, every single option. Once you finish talking to him, head back inside and return to Abbas Benita. And tell her you finished investigating for now. And blame her on the Ripper Demon. And someone will scream, apparently someone else has died, so you now need to make your way up to the northeastern corner and we need to be heading down to the basement as you can see here there's doors blocks you have to go through the monastery so down to the basement and you'll have a little chat with a bunch of NPCs Now, while you investigate the body, and I'll let you another clue. And investigate the bloodstains. Once you've done that, head back upstairs. And we now need to talk to Benita. Tell her you need the key to Eleanor's room, or cell I should say. And we now need to investigate Eleanor's room. So head back down to the southeastern corner. And this is the third room. Head inside here and check the bed. and you'll get a bunch of letters. Read through them and you'll find out she's actually been having an affair with the Valerio, so... And you need to uh, head down to the kitchen next to uh, Benita's office. and check the sacks in the corner and you'll find out there's actually a hole there that people have been creeping through or something's been creeping through once you've checked that head outside and we now need to talk to Valerio again and run through all the options
You can blame the death on him if you want. Didn't really matter. But once you've done all that, head back inside and talk to Benita again. Tell her about the sacks in the corner and be in a hole there. And we now need to head up into the monastery as we still need a couple more clues and talk to the sister in here, Cecilia. And she'll get up and start singing. Kind of weird. But once you've done that, we now need to head back down into the basement And on the side, there should be a cupboard, which we'll be having a gander at for another clue. And there it is. So search the cupboard, and you'll find out that someone's recently been hiding in there. Yet another clue. Head back upstairs. And talk to Benita again. Tell you finish your investigation for now, tell her it's the demon. And she'll ask you to go and get sister Katharina from outside. So head outside next to Valerio and talk to Katharina wherever she is, there she is. And you just tell her to come inside. I'll tell you if you could dance with her first. Just to show you where it's like. Here you go. Monkey dance. So, whenever you're ready, tell her to come back in and you'll get a cutscene. Stabby, stabby, whatever, she's dead. So, basically... You now need to get up the ladder, which is right next to the gate, and use the winch to get the gate open. And head back down and now investigate Kath uh, Katharina's body. And you'll automatically start a conversation with Valerio. The abbess will come out and t ask you to go to her room. So, head there now. And it's time to form a cunning plan. So, basically tell her you still think it's the demon, and you should set a trap, and a next victim. And then it doesn't really matter what you answer as far as I know. And basically they'll be on a long-winded conversation between the Abbas and Valerio. So, once you've done that, it's time to set our cunning plan in motion. So you want to head back up to the northeast corner, we're going down to the basement again. If you haven't picked up your cabbage already, pick up the cabbage in the centre of the monastery. But once you're ready, come down here into the basement, move the candlestick, and you'll move it onto the carpet in the middle of the room. Make sure you right click use cabbage on the, car on the candlestick. Otherwise you'll eat it. Then you want to open up the cupboard, search the cupboard, and you'll get a set of robes. You then want to use the robes on your cabbage candlestick. And you'll make a mock dummy victim. Once you've done all that, hide inside the cabinet. And it's time for another cutscene.
So you'll burst out, you then want to try and capture or knock out the Ripper Demon, and you'll peg it. So Tree's after him. As you do. So Tree's after him. You keep running. You'll run towards the exit. And then you'll get blocked in by Valerio and his little gang. You'll then try to run back inside. So follow him again. You'll head through the monastery and go upstairs towards the bell tower. So follow after him. So head upstairs and upstairs again. And then upstairs again. If I can find it. There it is. And you'll have a nice little showdown. I don't actually think any of these matter, but just say let her go, don't hurt her, blah blah blah. And eventually you'll get to the point where enough talk comes up. So once you've gone through most of the options, just say enough talk, then head back downstairs, operate the clock mechanism, and put the time back to 12. And then head back upstairs. And start the conversation again, but this time say, listen, is there a bell ringing? And then you'll have a nice little cutscene. So, magical ninja granny will somehow take her weapons off her and throw them out the window. Good work, Super Gran. Talk to her and ask if she's alright, blah blah blah, what's she gonna do with Anna? And then talk to Anna and it's up to you what choice you choose. I just said no killer. And after all that, you'll spawn back down by Abbas Benita, talk to her and quest complete. Two quest points, you get the robe set and 250 prayer and an emote. Additionally, there's a bunch of mini quests or tasks after it. You can get a bunch more rewards, including a shit ton of prayer and crafting XP if you've got a bunch of god books. So if you've got them, you fancy free pr uh, XP, then do it. So just to show you what this looks like. And there you go. And that's pretty much it. Quest complete. So while Guthic sleeps, we'll probably be out two weeks' time. And it will be done now. The only thing I've got left to do is kill Bork, which I completely and utterly forgot about. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Nice easy quest. May as well get it done. And that's it. I will catch you all later. Good luck.